There's a place that you can be where magic goes to bloom. Come inside and you're sure to find us in the secret magic room. Welcome to the secret magic room. My name's Magic Mike. And I'm Miss Tricky. And today we're here to learn spooky magic that you can make and do at home. That's right. Look, Miss Tricky, I have a crystal ball of mystery. Ooh. Would you like to see what it does? Yes, please. I can conjure up the spirits of the famous magician Harry Houdini. Uh, who's Harry Houdini? He was a famous magician from the past. Watch, I'll rub the crystal ball and the spirit of Harry Houdini will possess me. Monkeying around. What's wrong? Fine. I'll put on my hat and I think it's time to learn some serious, spooky magic. So do I. Look, Miss Tricky, I have drawn a picture of my hand. So I've, you have. I've traced a picture of my hand. And the other night, I had a dream that a blister appeared on one of my fingers. A blister? Very spooky. Look on the table, Miss Tricky. There is a pen and I want you to take the pen and I want you to draw a blister on one of my fingers. Can you do that? Any finger at all? Go on, do it and let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. It's the finger next to my thumb. That's amazing. Why did you choose that finger? I uh, just I just picked any finger. Have a look at my hand. <gasps> oh my goodness me. The dream has come true. Come closer with the camera because there is only one blister on my finger and there it is. It's the finger that matches the picture <gasps> that you and that is what I call blistering magic. Hey, dude, you need to eat something. <laughs> I tricked you. You did, but uh, how? Well, it's easy. For this trick, you need a piece of paper. Yes. You need a black pen. Show the pen, Miss Tricky. Yes. And something special. Special? Like special. what? Well, you should have one already. If not... Go and find one. It is a key. A key? A key with a hole in it. Do you see that hole yes. in the top? Yes. That's what makes <gasps> the blister. That matches the size of your blister. It did. It did. Now watch carefully. When Miss Tricky was drawing the blister on the paper, I was holding the key in my hands. Now depending, depending where you are going to draw the blister, is where I will press my finger into the hole of the key. Let me show you. Come closer. You see, if I push just firmly on the key, it will make a funny looking shape that resembles a spooky blister. That's the secret. That's so easy. Yeah, and don't be afraid. Once you're making the blister on one of your fingers, when your person, when your volunteer is drawing a picture, you can just put the key casually back into your pocket. Hmm. Yeah, it's They'll that never easy. know. That's right. And that's what I call some super blistering magic. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've learnt all your tricks and you're performing for all your friends and family, remember that magic should be fun to perform. Never take your magic too seriously. If you have fun, your audience will have fun as well. Uh, what is that in front of me? What is that? That smells gross. Oh my golly gosh, it's flying dog poo. Help! Help! <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I think it's time to see another spooky trick. Yes. Look at the table. I've brought along my Magic Mike Mystery Mansion Key of Illusion. Woo! Would you like to see what it does? Yes, please. Look carefully at the magic key. I'm going to cover it up ever so gently. And watch if I wave my hands like magic over the key, you will see that the key can slowly twist. <gasps> it will slowly oh! turn. Oh my goodness! It is moving in a very spooky manner. Oh! Is it the work of a ghost? It must be. Is it the work of pure magic? Whatever it is, it is spooky. Well, it's time to discover the secret of the spooky key trick. Yes. It's actually possessed by a spooky ghost. No, it isn't. I know, but let me show you what you need for this trick. Now, Miss Tricky, hold on to that key. Show everyone very carefully. You see, this is a very old looking key and you might be able to find these around your house or your grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. Now, any key will do, but you could even paint your key and make it look very mysterious. Yes, like you've done. I've painted mine mysterious gold. Ooh. Right, hold on for one moment. Okay. We also need some black cotton thread. Oh. Not too thick, just a nice thin variety. Yes. And, ta-da, a see-through cloth. Oh. It's almost like a cheesecloth, but this is actually a bandage. Oh. That's right. I went down to my local pharmacy or supermarket and I bought a, a, a bandage cloth. And these cloths are actually see-through. Mm. You can buy see-through fabric at fabric stores You can, too. you can. It's yeah. very cheap. So, realistically, the key has tied to it black Thread. But we're going to use white thread to show. That's right. But That's do you right. understand, Miss Tricky, that the tabletop is actually black? Yes, it has to match the colour of the thread. That's right. Black against black means you can't see the thread. That's, That's right. the secret. Brilliant. It's that easy, yet ever so spooky. Ooh. Right. Let's go down to the tabletop and show you exactly how this trick works. Excellent. Are we ready, Miss Tricky? Once we've tied the string, to the key, we have to make sure the string where it's tied is right up top and the string runs down towards the edge of the table. This is what we do. We cover up the key and just by gently and secretly pulling on the black string, remember the string will be black, the key will secretly and mysteriously rotate before their very eyes. You see, that's how the key trick works. Wow. You just don't want to pull on the thread too far because people will know that then there is a thread attached to the key. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what if someone wanted to touch the key? <gasps> Good point. You can just secretly tear the thread and then hand out the key for examination. That's clever. Yes, Miss Tricky, do you mind if I pick my nose? Gross! Oh, I guess it's not that sort of a key. Anyway, you can do this at home and trick people with the spooky key. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun today teaching amazing spooky magic. Have you had fun, Miss Tricky? Yes. I've got my turban of mystery on my head. That's not your turban. <laughs> I beg your pardon? That's not the turban of mystery. Oh, what are you talking about? I've got the turban here. Uh, what's on my head? It's a nappy. A nappy? Oh my golly gosh. Anyway, I know we've had awesome fun. I look forward to seeing you again inside the secret magic room. <laughs> bye bye everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.